I'm an embarrassment to my Punjabi heritage. We should be able to do this naturally. <laughs> Are we going for a ride? So today I'm in Walsall to do some horse riding. I was going to bring the girls uh, because I'm sure they'd enjoy it, but unfortunately they're both ill. So I've had to come here on my own uh, to enjoy this equestrian extravaganza. Apparently, uh, there's a scoring system, and this is a competition. I don't understand the scoring system, or who's winning, and what constitutes a good run. But the idea is that they run from down the bottom of the hill up to the top. So today I've come to watch an equestrian competition. This is a competition called Nezabazi. You'll see a very Punjabi theme, people speaking Punjabi, uh, Pakistanis, flags, uh, some Sikh people. So the idea is this. Teams of horse riding clubs from all over the UK uh, have come and they are competing. So the riders from every club line up at the bottom of the field and they take a run all the way to the top. Halfway through, there are pegs in the ground and they're carrying javelins and their job is to spear any one of the pegs. If they touch one, it's two points and if they spear one and take it with them, then it's four points and they will be an overall individual champion declared at the end of the day as well as a winning team. It's a good spectator sport. Uh, if you get a chance to see any of this Nezabazi stuff in your local area, uh, if you're you know, connected to the local Punjabi community perhaps, then you will probably be able to attend one of these or find them online. After several hours of competition and a lot of skilled horse riding, the Chuck Sawadi team were declared the winners. And their fans celebrated victory in the traditional way. I did ask what this competition was called in English, 
I was told that the wooden stakes they spear with the javelins are called pegs. And that's why this particular sport is called pegging, which I thought was a bit of a bummer. Anyway, I didn't bother doing any horse riding myself. Turns out, it's seriously dangerous. Ambulances had to be called after several people had accidents. I'm not going to show you that, but here's some footage of an experienced rider controlling a panicking horse, and you've got to admire the skill involved here. 